Hello, my name is Ben Boder, and today I'm going to be presenting a new tool I made for Maya 2022 that aims to make physics-based debris and object scattering much easier and more user-friendly. So with that out of the way, let's get started. Upon immediately opening the tool, you'll see that it automatically makes a gravity field. Don't delete this because this will be important in the future. Now, one of the main functions of this tool is that you can import your own objects to use as debris with the gravity. To do that, just click this handy folder icon, and it'll send you right to the place where you can import your assets. Just click right here, and then wherever you have your assets, just click and drag. And now they're auto they'll automatically be in the system and ready to import. First things first, you can make an object a passive collider. This means it'll act as a wall and act as a barrier for all gravity-based objects. So if I click this, this wall is automatically a passive collider now. Same goes for active collider. I can make a cube or any other shape, make it an active collider, and if I press the playhead, you can see it's already affected by gravity and doing what we want. One of the, one of the other cool functions of this is that you can take an already made face, for instance, if I take a sphere, I can automatically map walls to a face in order to make wind and other turbulence factors a lot easier to handle. It doesn't matter what the shape is, as long as it's a single face, I can make walls out of the face and immediately spawn objects into the scene. Walls are immediately mapped to the face. Now, as you can see, that automatically made objects into the scene, which I can delete and re-add if I wanted to. These buttons will reappear. Second option, I can spawn objects on the face. We won't do that here because there's already objects from the make walls out of face button, but that option's still there if you need it. Advanced settings, you can mess with all these settings if you wanna mess with how objects spawn, um, the mass of objects, certain factors of the object. It's very user-friendly and able and right there for you. So right now, we can hit play right here on the bottom. And you can see everything's already affected by gravity and already starting to move. What's great about this program is that we can add modifiers like wind and turbulence and vortexes to really give the illusion that these objects are being scattered by the wind. So in the modifiers section, we have several different options. There's preset modifiers right here that give options for strong wind, hurricane, and tornado if you don't feel like grappling with all the settings. First off, let's make some wind. So if I hit create wind, it automatically makes a wind field that affects all objects within this range. And if I hit play, you can see from instead of before, they were just standing there, they're now scattering off as if they're being affected by wind. Right, right here, I can delete that wind. Wind settings are right here in case you wish to use them. I can also make a vortex, which acts as a mini tornado in a sense, where it just spins objects around. So if I hit play, you can see unlike the wind, which did it in one direction, the vortex sort of swirls the objects, so you can get some really cool effects. Combining, combining wind and vortexes, as you can see, objects now move away and at certain angles, really adding to the randomness factor that this tool is trying to go for. Vortex settings have the same sort of things as the wind settings and can be edited on the fly whenever you want. Options down at the bottom is timeline length right here. If I make this bigger, let's say 10 and hit play. If you look at the timeline down below, it gets bigger and lets me play more of the scene. If I want to let the simulation play a little bit more, I can. Hit pause, go back. This button right here, if you are done with the simulation and like what it gives you, so let me add some wind and a vortex. Hit play. Let's go back. Add some wind. Say I like it right here. I can lock it in, and there, 
It deletes all the wind, walls, and everything else, and it is set and ready for staging. I hope you like this demonstration of my tool, and I hope to see you around next time.